whatever day it is where you are. Uh, for me, it is February 7, and we are one week out. One week from today, in a half hour, I will be uh, starting surgery. So, that's a little intimidating. <laughs> It's um, it's feeling uh, very real um, now. I told my friend the other day, I was like, you know, it's like being on a roller coaster that you know could kill you if you don't go through all of the scary parts or if you don't go through all of the scary parts of the roller coaster. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a weird feeling. Like, you try to be super strong for yourself and for everybody else around you, and um, inside you're just, it's like an emotional chaos, um, no matter how strong you try to be. So... Yeah, it's just been interesting. But, you know, with God, all things are possible. And this isn't exempt from that. So we're going to be good. I just left uh, the hospital because I had to, I hope you can hear me, but I'm on the interstate. And I know that can get a little bit loud sometimes. But um, I just left the hospital. And... Um, I had to meet with the lymphedema specialist because they are taking out uh, quite a few of my lymph nodes during the surgery, but then also because they're taking, you know, the girls, um, a lot of my lymphatic system will be disrupted. And so there's always the possibility of, you know, infection, um, swelling, something she called uh, strapping. I don't feel like that's the right word, but she said basically it's like you can raise your arm and it feels like there's like a rubber band under there that just needs to snap but it can't, so then they, you know, you have to come in and they have to do like all of this PT and all that kind of stuff. But she said, you know, just make sure that even the day of surgery, like you're doing range of motion exercises that are okay to do. Um, she did say, because she's advocating, uh, might not be the, the greatest word to use, but she is, over the umbrella of the breast surgeon. However, she said, you know, what the plastic surgeon, reconstructive surgeon says trumps whatever they say as far as like what range of motion exercises I'm able to do after surgery because of the um, expanders. Uh, with those, because they're not in there tightly, like I think I told you guys before, they're only going to be in there with basically like a suture. Um, there's only certain amounts of range of motion that I can do with that right away. So I will have those questions answered on the 13th, the day before surgery. And um, then we'll kind of see how the two different messages mesh and in fact what I am able to do. So, um, that's really all she said about that. Oh, she did say that, you know, moving forward, because I will have so many of my lymph nodes removed and my lymphatic system won't ever be what it was, that when I travel, uh, like on airplanes or in um, the car, I will have to wear compression sleeves on my arms to prevent uh, swelling because swelling is not good for, you know, um, a compromised lymphatic system. 
I will never be able to get blood pressure uh, read on my right side because that's where they're pulling, that's where they're taking out the lymph nodes. Uh, I can't wear any like um, hair bands or anything tight on my wrist again. Uh, if my rings start to get tight, I need to you know, remove them and um, possibly get new ones if need be. Uh, anything that is going to cause extra pressure to my body or uh, my skin is a no-go. So that was that. And then um, I think that's really all. I mean, she showed me all the range of motion exercises, but like I said, I don't, I don't know exactly how many of those I can do right away um, because of expanders but we'll find out soon enough. Uh, last night was a lot of fun. I went out with uh, three of my girlfriends to do kind of a boob voyage uh, if you will and we had dinner. They um, gave me some sweet gifts to help me along in my recovery and so that was a lot of fun. And then today we're just going to continue marking that list off and getting things done. Um, I've got quite a few errands that I need to run this morning. I need to um, go to Amazon, not to Amazon, but to UPS and drop off some Amazon returns. And right now I'm actually headed over to my parents' house to decorate my mom's mantle and another place in her house. Um, for spring and summer before surgery so that her house can be decorated too. <laughs> so that won't take me long, um, but I'm gonna do that. And then I need to run to Ross and get some uh, vanilla skinny girl uh, syrup because it's just way cheaper there than it is on Amazon. And as you guys saw in a couple of vlogs ago, um, I'm out of that one. So I did replace the pumpkin uh, caramel one and now I just need the vanilla and then we'll be good to go. So I've got that. Um, I've got a big list at home of like every day what I need to get done, what I need to vlog about, what I need to uh, power hour, um, film, all the things. So it's it's a little it's a little bit crazy over here but it's okay we'll we'll get it done and um, if we don't it's not gonna be the end of the world I just have to keep telling myself that like it's it's gonna be okay everybody will survive so that is kind of what um, is happening today I also want to film some outfit uh, videos for you guys. Those have obviously taken a back burner just because there's been so much to do and so much other stuff to film um, that just realistically, I, I can't keep up with, with it all. So that has taken a back burner. I hope that I'm able to film some videos uh, prior to my surgery, but um, we shall see. So I'm going to run, do these things quickly, and then um, head back home, and I will see you guys there. All right, back home, and <laughs> so we, you know, I had told you that um, I couldn't find my rub and buff to do this candlestick. Still can't find it. I have no idea where it's at. So maybe one day the bag will pop up, which is really frustrating because it's like, 10 bucks a, a little tiny tube and there was like four or five of them in there but anyway maybe it'll pop up one day but I'm going to take this outside and just spray paint it black instead of doing the ebony rub and buff that way um, I can get this finished and put back downstairs and you know have that all done um, the other things that I really want to get done today are 
I want to uh, pack my bathroom, um, not my bathroom, my hospital bag. Uh, I want to touch up the walls in this closet back here. So many kids have been, you know, coming and going that there's quite a few scratches and scuffs on that wall that um, unfortunately I notice all the time. Probably nobody else in this household has noticed that, but I see it every time I walk past. So I want to get that. Um, I want to get the kids um, dance outfits slash costumes uh, totally all together today and make sure that we have everything that we need. I want it hung up. I want it pressed. I want all the things ready and good to go um, so that we don't have to deal with it on Sabbath so that I don't have to be dealing with it tomorrow night because I would like to paint my fingernails um, before church on Sabbath and I don't want to be dealing with any kind of other stuff. So uh, we're going to do that. I want to get my niece's uh, birthday stuff all together and packed and wrapped and that way I can take that and drop it off at the um, post office and get that totally shipped out before next week. Her birthday is not till the 27th so um, I have time but yet I don't have time because I'm obviously not going to be doing it after next Wednesday. So those are the things that I need to accomplish today um, and then just kind of picking things up around here. I got um, my vanilla syrup from Ross this morning and when I was there I found a really big uh, like those um, wicker baskets. I've looked at savers for the last week or so and I didn't find any that were big enough but I found one there for 20 bucks and it's perfect for um, what I want to do on the side of the bed. Like I've got all of those pillows and the mastectomy pillow, just all these things that um, are going to be otherwise laying all over the bedroom when I'm not using them. So I got this cute basket to be able to put by the bed and then just kind of throw those things in when I'm not using them. You guys know I hate just having stuff just out on hard surfaces. And so this is a way to just kind of consolidate all of those things in one area and um, just kind of grab them when uh, and if I need them. So we're gonna put that together. And then also my um, nightstand, I've got some things that I wanna put in there. That way they're all ready to go when and if I need them and um, I can just grab them as need be. So we are doing that today. Um, really quick, let's run outside and paint this bad boy so that we can get it back into its rightful place. And then we will move on with all the other stuff because we need to boogie um, because we have small group tonight and I need to get um, the soup ready to go. So busy afternoon. So I wanted to do a little shout out really quick just for um, some pretty amazing people. So Chloe had a former um, track coach and PE teacher that she absolutely adores. Um, I do too. And she reached out to me last night and was like, hey, I'm going to drop a couple uh, pre-made meals off at the school tomorrow, have the kids grab them and take them home. So they did. Like, this is amazing. So she made this little um, note here of everything that she made. Um, even did turkey bacon right here, which is this because we don't eat pork. So like perfect. And then she made gluten-free pancakes because Chloe's gluten-free. 
um, turkey salad, oranges. Uh, she works at a candy store now, a candy and popcorn store here in Kansas City. And um, so she sent us all of these like amazing little treats. We've already eaten uh, one of these. We actually um, left a little piece for Sam to try. <laughs> but that's all he gets. We cut it in fourths so that we could all try it. Um, I combined these two, so there's toffee and brittle in this one, and they are amazing. Uh, these right here are some of the other things, and then white cheddar bacon popcorn, and this right here uh, is cinnamon. This is, um, what's this one? caramel. We've already gotten into the bag, so that's why I had to put them in there. But just like so, so sweet. The generosity of people has just been amazing to me. And then over here, this I got today from my sweet friends in Florida uh, who work with the same hospital system um, as Sam. And they sent me this. This is the cutest thing ever. Um, sent me this really cute little card, thinking I'm praying for you, and then put this really um, sweet note on the inside. It's got these uh, cozy little socks, and then herbal tea. Are these not like the cutest little slippers ever? Like how great will these be um, afterwards? But I mean, even for like summer when you don't wanna wear like the super hot um, slipper that like covers your entire foot, like these are great because it's kind of like a flip flop. I mean, not kind of, it obviously is, but you know what I mean. And then this body butter, which smells amazing. And then this really great blanket in one of my favorite colors. <laughs> but it is like the softest thing ever. Um, how great to just be like cozied up in this um, editing videos. Like couldn't get any better, could it? So just really, really, really sweet. This is the gift that my friends gave me last night that I didn't want to take the time to show because everybody was in bed when I got home. So these are for under my arms. And what you do is you hang these um, under your arm and then you tie the string on top. And then this is a place that you can either put your drains in or um, ice packs. So that is super great. And then this is a seatbelt holder, um, or not a holder, but like it goes around, I can't do it with one hand, around the seatbelt. I already have that big gray one, but I thought this would be perfect for um, like if I ever have to, you know, ride in Christian's car or ride in the truck with Sam, just to have one in both places so that I don't have to constantly transport it back and forth. So those are um, the really cool things that happened today. And then, or that I was sent today rather. And then over here, uh, Ross did not have just regular caramel or regular vanilla, I mean. So I got the vanilla caramel cream and they're only $4.99 at Ross. Like, I mean, you can't even get any better than that. They're way more than that on Amazon. So um, I got two, that way I could have one for uh, right now and then one as a backup. And then I wanted to show you, so I showed you guys my mug yesterday, but these are the straws that I got for them. And do you see how long they are? Like extremely long, but you can pull them out. Um, so they've got little numbers here. Uh, where is it at? 10, 11, and 12. And um, that just kind of helps with like, oh, it's so hard with one hand. <laughs> but can I get it? Oh, there we go. Pretty much. You guys can get the point. 
you can have it like this, but then it reaches down to you. So you're like, if you can't get your arms up or whatever, you can just kind of push this down and it just makes it a little bit easier to drink from since in the beginning, you're not, you know, supposed to be lifting stuff. So that is that it comes with uh, six of them. Again, you guys know by now, it's all going to be in the storefront. Um, this isn't just for surgery people. Like, obviously, you know, you can use all of these things for a lot of other reasons. Uh, over here, I need to spray paint these. Um, my mom found these at Savers today and wanted to know if I could uh, quick spray paint them black so that she can put them on our kitchen table. So since I already have the black paint out there, I'm going to run out and get those sprayed. That way they can be drying and I can give them to her tomorrow. So that is kind of where we're at. I need to get all of this stuff put away. I ended up having to take a lot of phone calls this afternoon. And then my dad ended up having to take my car to the tire store because my uh, back driver's side tire had a broken off nail in it because of course it did. <laughs> so he took that for me and got that uh, tended to while I got some stuff done uh, around here. But then, like I said, phone calls and, and whatever came in and um, I didn't get quite as much done as I needed to before small group tonight. But really quick, let me go and show you my uh, basket that I got today at Ross and kind of what I have um, planned for that. And now actually I can take this blanket and put it in there too and that will be perfect oh except for I'm like I'm dropping all kinds of that stuff on the floor right now but that's okay okay so we're gonna take this in here and I think this will just be a really great way to like keep all of this stuff um, kind of in one place oh my gracious look who's been here Oh my goodness, like look at this. Tell me Daisy wasn't here without telling me she wasn't here. <laughs> this is totally her. So I got, uh, from yesterday, I got this washed and ready to go. This is the other drain bag that um, needed to be washed. I'll put that in my uh, hospital bag. But look at this. Is this not like the most perfect thing ever? So I found this basket for 20 bucks at Ross and it's great because it goes with obviously the decor of our room. I can use it after all of this is over, but um, it's nice and tall. And so um, it's gonna hide everything that I need it to hide. So where are my bolsters? We've got these. What are you doing, Day? So we got these over here. We can put those in there. And then we've got our mastectomy pillow that can go in there also I know there's something else that I want to put in there that I'm not thinking about I'm sure it'll come to me and then I can just kind of like lay this on the top of that oh, maybe not let's put this a little bit tighter there we go. Just like that. And then, I mean, it just totally looks like it's part of the room. I don't have, you know, all of that stuff out and about and all over in here. And I can still feel like I'm in my home and not a hospital room or whatever. Um, I did want to show you, so I'm so kooky. I didn't even realize that this did this until Sam came home and showed me. So you can pop this out and then, I, of course, I can't do it with one hand. Um, you pull this thing out and then you push down on this. There we go. And then it like snaps back here. It has different um, notches that you can put it in. And so if you want like your computer or your iPad sitting here, but yet still having a table over here, um, for a book or whatever, you know, if you want it all the way down you just do it like that 
and it fastens just like that. I mean, this is so great. So it just has all of these different places that you can put this, um, or you can just, you know, have it straight. So I've got this ready to go over here, um, obviously for when we come home. This I need to hang up. Um, this is my my drain robe or the robe that has the um, drain pockets in it. And then I wanted to show you in here just a visual of how big or small rather this chair is. So like right here, I mean, it just sits right there. It doesn't take up a ton of space at all. And then um, this shower head right here just, you know, comes out. And so I'll just leave it laying on the floor all the time. That way I don't have to reach up and get it. I, it's much easier for me um, to just like bend down a little bit and grab that versus trying to get that because obviously I can't reach up there. So that is kind of my plan, but I'm not going to have this in here until we absolutely need it. So I'll just leave it sitting here. And then that little loofah thing just uh, hangs perfectly on the back of that. So that is um, all ready to go. Then in here, I've got my hospital bag. Um, I've got some stuff in here, but I don't have it like actually put together. So this is what I need to still do today. And I'm hoping that I can get it done before everybody comes for a small group. But I don't know. My time, my time is ticking, day. Yeah, you tell everybody hi. Say hi. Yes. Hey, today's a little better of a day. Every day gets a little better, huh? Yeah. You're so sweet. It's so funny because she used to be the one that would just camp out in her house all the time and kind of stay away from everybody. And now that Piper isn't with us anymore, um, Daisy's like out all the time. Like she follows me around constantly and she wants to be held a lot more than she ever did. And it's just interesting how that all kind of pivots. All right, so what time do we have? 5.30, I've got people coming in an hour or a little less. So I'm going to get all of this picked up and then um, trying to think of like the most important things that I wanna get done. I think I can get all of this picked up. My soup, I can get that warming. Um, I want to get this ready and packed for my niece. And I need to get these spray painted for my mom. So we're gonna get that done as quick as we can and then what else do we have on our list here for today um so this is for tomorrow and then just getting the dance clothes together i will have to touch up the walls tomorrow because that's just not going to happen today and that's okay so that's the plan um i will bring you guys along with me so that you can watch and be motivated <laughs> And we are going to see if we can get all of that done by uh, 625. So we shall see. You say you don't want to get in trouble. That you don't find because you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble. But you got to wake up to reality. Because I can see. Trust the right, don't have to be scary. Don't have to be scary. 
gotta chase it, gotta believe it You gotta go get it for yourself Cause I can see your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's many ways to be happy you can do whatever you like, you don't have to be ready You just gotta trust the right, don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light, you're able to be happy You can do whatever you like think that we did pretty amazing. Everything is picked up. I've got uh, Leslie's gift all packaged and ready to take tomorrow. Counters are cleaned off. I just need to get the water out, uh, the plates, napkins, cups, all that. Um, I've got the soup over here. I have turned the heat off, that way it can kind of cool just a little bit um, before we eat. That way it doesn't burn anybody's lips straight off. And looks like I need to wipe this up. I'm going to miss doing this. <laughs> I wipe these counters all the time just because I am. Just because I am. That's... I don't know how this got put under here, but um, the things that you do, that you just totally take for granted without realizing that um, they are a privilege. So, so I'm going to get all of that stuff out. Um, I still have not packed my uh, hospital bag. I always want to call it my bathroom bag. I don't know why, but anyway, I haven't packed my hospital bag yet. And honestly, um, I don't know that I'm going to have time or take the time to do that tonight just because people usually don't leave here until um, like around 8.45, 9 o'clock. Then, you know, we do the whole like hang out with the kids, learn about their day, do our family prayer, like that whole thing. Um, and I'm tired. It's been a long day. So I just don't think that I'm going to do that today. So we are going to pick back up in the morning. Uh, we'll do that. I didn't get the walls um, touched up today, so we've got to do that tomorrow. I need to pick up all of the stuff for after party that all of the parents are dropping off at the school um, to donate and help out with, so that will be great. Um, I don't remember what else was on that list, but we will find out in the morning. And um, if you're noticing that I have a sweater on, yes, I sure do, because I knew better than to go out there and spray paint those candlesticks. And I got a tiny bit of like paint dust on my shirt. So I have it in washing and I am praying that um, that comes out and it will be great again because that's the shirt that I got from Nashville and I love it. 
but um, I have swapped out and quite honestly, I am sweating up a storm. So that's just how that's going because I sweat all the time now because I can't take my hormone shots because of, um, because of the cancer. So <laughs> that is real irritating. Um, I might be more irritated about that than really anything else because I just, you know, we talk about the pit sweats and that's where we are right now. So anywho, I will leave you all and uh, touch back with you in the morning and we will go ahead and finish uh, marking out this list and um, getting things done. And I hope that you guys found some motivation in what was accomplished today and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Thursday. I had to think about that for just a second. So today I am needing to get the things done that uh, we didn't accomplish yesterday, which is, let's see, let me look at my list. Uh, touching up the walls in the hall, the hospital bag. Um, I wanna put the drawer together in my nightstand. Uh, let's see, I was gonna show you guys the kids um, dance outfits, they're super cute. And then um, right now I'm actually headed to the school to pick up all of the donations for um, the after party. I did a sign up genius for all of the parents and then they just contribute and help out, drop it off at the school. I pick it up, bring it home. That way everything is here and ready by Saturday night. And I'm not relying on kids to bring it to me. The parents don't have to try to figure out a way to get it to me. Um, before the kids get here on Saturday, it just makes it a whole lot easier. It's the way I've always done it, it works. So that's that's how we roll. So I'm gonna go pick those up. Um, let's see, what else? I want to also get my uh, outfit ready that I'm wearing to the hospital. That way I'm sure to not like grab it and wear it between now and then, which isn't really a big deal, but that way I don't have to worry about, oh my goodness, I have to hurry and wash this. That way it's ready on Wednesday, all the stuff. Like I just know everything is together, even down to my shoes. Um, that way it takes like zero thought out of it on Tuesday and especially Wednesday morning. Um, I have to be at the hospital at 8.30, which means Pretty much, I, I'm gonna be leaving at the same time the kids are leaving for school. So everything needs to be ready and good to go by 7.30. Um, that way I can tell them goodbye. We can get Daisy to my parents' house. That way she can stay over there uh, with them during the day and you know she's able to get out, go potty, all those kinds of things throughout the day. And then we're gonna be headed to the hospital. So I want absolutely, um, as little thought as pro as possible to need to go into Wednesday morning. Because let's be honest, regardless of who you are and how strong you are, um, that's gonna be a whole emotional, anxiety-driven situation. So um, just trying to get ahead of all of that. And then I think, um, oh, my candlestick is dry from yesterday. Um, so I'm going to take that downstairs, put that where it goes. My parents' candlesticks are also dry and I ordered some tulips and uh, this greenery stuff right here for my mom's house also. Well, my dad lives there too, but <laughs> their house. And I'm going to take that over there actually tomorrow and just put all of the rest of that up. I did everything yesterday. Uh, but I did not have the greenery stuff to put in there, so I just need to go and do that um, tomorrow. So that's what we've got going on today. I am going to, um, oh, I also need to run by Walmart because I have a pickup there. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff for the pantry just to get everything stocked up for like um, lunches and snacks and stuff like that that just needs to be ordered that comes in like bigger boxes that I wanna get in situated, uh, the boxes out in the trash, that kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna pick up those things and then uh, we'll bring those home. I'll show you what I got 
um, in that order, but I'm not gonna show it all put away and everything because that is actually part of a power hour that I need to pre-film for you guys to be able to watch um, when I can't film. So I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I have five power hours that I still need to film. That's the plan for today. I hope you guys will stick with me and hang out and I'm gonna run to the school and to Walmart and then I will meet you back here in just a little bit. donations for the after parties. Oh, well, that was loud. So like I said uh, before, we are hosting the freshman and junior after party after the Waterfest uh, dance on Saturday night. So just sent out a sign up genius. These are the things that we need. Uh, there's a few other things coming on the day of like fruit and stuff like that. But this is kind of the bulk of the non-perishable items that are coming. So super great that parents are willing to help donate and that way it's not all left on me, which is um, really, really kind. So all of this is ready to go um, for Saturday night. It's in a great place. I don't have to worry about tripping over it in the house, having it take up extra space in my pantry and this just works. So this is all done. And then um, all these leaves blew in while I was um, putting all that away. These are all finished. So these were the um, candlesticks that I painted for my parents' house. And so I will take those to them uh, tomorrow. And then I can get this put in the trash. And that project is done. Um, oh, the shirt situation. Um, it came out, so I was super thrilled about that because I was um, highly concerned that that was not going to be the case. All of Sam's dry cleaning came when I got here, so that was perfect timing. I've got some laundry going in here. Uh, just to catch up on but here is the shirt that I rubbed against the paint yesterday and I'm actually really surprised that it came out but like all right here it was just spray paint dust and I was like oh my gosh you've got to be kidding me but it came out great so praise the Lord on that um, this right here goes downstairs. This is the candlestick that um, we spray painted. And let's see, these are the tulips that I'm taking to my parents' house and the, um, the greenery that is over there in that pot and over there in that pot. So what I'm going to do, is just take this out here and then I'll put the candlesticks in and we will have all of that together and ready to go so that um, I don't forget anything when I head to their house tomorrow. That way we can get all their decorating finished also. And we can all be ready for spring and summer. I don't know whose bag this is, so I need to put that there and that way I can ask the kids when they come. Um, hey, is this your parents? I've got, let's see, 
some stuff in here. So the white box is um, a savers donation box. These go back to Walmart. I'm just gonna leave my purse in there for the moment. I need my water and I think we're ready to go. The wind is insane today. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is craziness. I think they said we were having 45 mile an hour winds and I don't doubt it because when I got out to go get the kids um, to pick that stuff up from the school, I couldn't hardly get out of the door and it about blew up my sweater, which would have been one big diddle. So I've got um, all of this stuff from Walmart. I will really quick just take it out, show you what I have, but I'm not gonna like put it away and show you how it gets put away in this video because that is part of my power hour, like I said, that I need to film. So you will see all of that, just not in this portion of it. So I'm gonna get all of this out, lay it out. I'll show you guys what I have and then we'll move forward. These are the things that I needed to stock up on. So we were out of index cards. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those. Uh, Oreo packs. The kids love these Nature's Bakery uh, fig bars. Um, <clears throat> they, normally, they normally get the apple ones instead of the blueberry, but uh, Walmart didn't have the apple, so they don't mind the blueberry. It's just if they had, you know, first preference, it would be raspberry and apple, but that's what we had to get today. And then um, we got Bernio's and some chicken and wild rice soup, chicken noodle soup, the sea salt um, IQ bars, as well as the almond butter chip. Um, I also ordered the peanut butter ones but they were out so i didn't get that and then um annie chun's teriyaki uh, noodle bowls nella wafers and all of these things right here are for snack and lunch so the kids will make these in the morning for their lunches um the soup will be for lunches and um, each kid does uh, one can. So they just warm up a can in the microwave, throw it in their thermos, and they're good to go. So this is um, four weeks worth. And then over here, this is three weeks worth. Um, I've got more in the pantry. So this, in addition to what I already have in the pantry, will um, stock us up for the next six to seven weeks. So that way I'm not having to reorder stuff for lunch. I know we have everything that we need and they can just grab and go um, as need be. And then um, the fig bars, Oreos, and Nella wafers, and the IQ bars, those are just like add-ins to the lunch. And then the teriyaki noodle bowl, again, same thing. They just prepare it here at the house and then throw it in their thermos and they're good to go. So we are totally stocked up for my entire um, sabbatical <laughs> and uh, they won't have to worry about that. These things over here I got for their um, Valentine's baskets. So this section is Christian's, this section is Chloe, not the vase. I got this for the big... Um, protein powder thing that you guys saw uh, come from Amazon a couple days ago that we sit on top of the creamy. It's ginormous and it won't go into that cabinet. So my idea is that we will just continuously fill this one. Christian really likes using that protein powder the most because it has the most amount of protein. The other ones don't have quite as much and he is really trying to bulk up um, lifting weights and stuff like that. So this way he can just grab what he needs. It's way more aesthetically pleasing than that big, huge um, brown plastic bucket. <laughs> and um, I'll just stick a scoop in there and he can grab as he needs. But for their Valentine's baskets, I got Chloe a couple of these Alani energy drinks. She loves these. I had also ordered one more 
which I don't remember what it was called, but it was out of stock. I got a bag of the uh, Gummy Cluster Nerds. That was out of stock, so they subbed it with just um, the three um, personal packs. And then she loves these disgusting Takis. I think they're gross, but she absolutely loves them. So you know what? Happy Valentine's Day. And then for Christian, I got the Sprite uh, Zero. And he loves, loves popcorn. So I did the Skinny Pop. And then um, I had also ordered him some Reese's um, Heart Cups. And they were out of those as well. So I need to um, kind of go back through and figure out what I need to reorder from a different store. Or just go to a different Walmart and grab the last few things that I need. But I want, I want to put together their Valentine's baskets uh, this week. That way I don't have to think about it next week. I can like have it all done and dealt with. And then that way, uh, Wednesday morning, I can just grab and stick it out here on the counter. It's good to go. It is one less thing that I have to think about on Tuesday uh, evening or Wednesday morning. So all of those are gonna be ready to go. I've got my pot back here from small group last night. Um, I've got it drying. I just like to wash it and then um, let it sit here. That way I know for a fact that the bottom of this is 100% dry before I go ahead and put it back in my pantry because I don't want to leave like watermarks and stuff because my shelves are wood. So that is what that's doing. Um, what do we have? Let's see. We did after party pickup, Walmart pickup. We got the candlesticks put in the bucket for um, my parents' house tomorrow. We need to touch up the walls still and do the hospital bag and put together um, the nightstand next to the bed. That way I have everything in there that I may need to reach for. So I think what we're going to do it's gonna take me less time to do the hospital bag and the nightstand than it will the walls. So let's hurry and knock those two things out. And then that way um, we'll just have the walls left to do, but the other two things will be all done and we'll feel even more accomplished because of that. Then if we were to do the walls, that takes forever. And then it's like, we're like, oh my word, I still have to do the hospital bag and the nightstand. So let's do those two things and then um, we'll finish up with the walls. I do want to show you, um, I was telling you guys yesterday when I was putting everything in that bucket next to the bed that I thought I was forgetting something and I was because it was out here in the kitchen and I didn't see it. So these little things here that my friends got me will also go in this bucket as well. So let's take this amazing thing out. I, like, I can't even tell you how soft that is. I'm so excited. And then this will just kind of lay in there. Um, the night. There we go. Okay. That just looks like it totally belongs there. Once I get my hospital bag all situated, I think I'm going to put the mastectomy pillow um, out here with it because I think I might want that on my way home. Um, I've kind of been reading some different things and some people said that that was a really good thing to ride home with because it just kind of um, squeezes you into the seat, if you will. That way you're not moving around a ton. So um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just set that next to this, that way I don't have to worry about accidentally forgetting it and leaving it in that bucket. I am trying to figure out, all right, so I've got the compression bra. These are my drain um, crossbody things. And then I've got this stuff. All right, so I think I need to hang this up in the bathroom because that is the drain robe. I'm not going to need 
all of the stuff that is in here that um, I normally take in my um, bathroom bag because let's be honest, I'm not gonna be washing my hair there more than likely. Um, probably not gonna be putting on makeup. I can't wear deodorant for like four or five weeks, which good Lord, I don't even, I don't even know how that's gonna go, friends. Um, I can't shave because we don't want any possibility of like, you know, nicks or um, little sweat pimples or, you know, just little things that can happen in your armpits from shaving. They don't want me shaving because we don't want to run the risk of like opening wounds, possible infection, anything like that, because it's so close to the surgical site. Uh, I can't wear any perfumes or lotions or anything like that for a significant amount of time because they don't want anything, you know, again, on my skin, possible infection, getting close to the site, all the stuff, like lots of open wounds. Um, but I can spray my clothes, I think. That's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do is just spray the clothes with perfume. That way it's not directly on my body, but I don't smell like tail. So, you know, there's that. In here, okay, so dry shampoo, I'm thinking that's probably a must for the day after, um, like when I have to be wheeled out into the lobby. I've got some root pump. Um, I'm probably going to just leave this stuff in here they maybe they'll have me shower just to kind of show me how I don't really know what to expect but I would rather be prepared than not so I think I'm going to just leave those things in there in case and then these right here I will not need um I don't know that I'm going to be able to really lift my arms to do my makeup, but I was thinking maybe even if I just had some powder and um, like some blush and mascara, I wouldn't look so homely. Like I'm not there for a fashion show, don't get me wrong, but you know, I also want to be somewhat presentable if people come and if I'm alert enough to even know my name. Uh, I at least <laughs> look like somebody's home. So uh, I'm just going to take very minimal stuff. Uh, I've got some chapstick in there because, um, you know, after surgery and everything, your lips are dry. Um, these are all my night creams, which really I'm not going to need because I can't wear makeup there anyway um, for surgery. So I'm not going to need to put any night cream on. I don't believe. Uh, let's see what else. Here's the chapstick. Um, I love this stuff. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but I found this on Amazon. It's Bioderm and, um, it's just a really good hydrating, uh, lip moisturizer and I am loving it. Like it's fantastic. It's in my, um, storefront if you're interested, but really, really great, uh, product. So I've got that in there. And then, um, this is my charger for my computer. Uh, I think I'm going to take that just in case, like, I don't know how alert I'm going to be. I don't do drugs. Well, guys, you guys know that I take children's Tylenol. Like, come on, imagine me getting like high dose drugs. I, I'm literally uh, loony as a tune. So I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm thinking that might be a good thing to have if I want to watch like um, YouTube or Netflix, like if I'm wide awake at 2 a.m. in the morning, that might be a good thing. So I'm going to take that. Here's my outfit that I'm going to be wearing home. We've got that. I've got my compression bra. I ordered another one because yesterday when I went to my doctor's um, appointment for the lymphedema, she suggested getting one 
for the first two weeks that is um, just like this as far as the top, obviously zips, but that is a little bit um, like longer down here. It goes a little bit uh, past my rib cage. That way it just keeps literally everything secure. So I'm going to take this one, but then I also ordered those this morning. So when they come, I'll put those in here and that way um, the hospital can kind of determine like which ones would be better for me right off the bat. Um, over here, I want to put a few of these and I'm sure that they're going to have some at the hospital for me, but I want to put a few of these um, throat lozenges in my bag just because I'm sure I'm going to have a sore throat um, with tubes being in my throat for five hours like that can't feel great coming out so I've got those and then these are gonna go um, next to my bed here in the nightstand so this is all of the stuff that I have currently in my nightstand for what I might need um, laying here in the bed I've got this Teal's lotion. I love this stuff for um, my feet, my elbows. And then I've got my socks right here that are amazing. I've shown you guys these before. I just put this on my feet and then on the inside, I'm not gonna be able to do this, so I'm probably not gonna be wearing these socks, but I keep them in my nightstand um, all, like, all the time, all year round. But in here, I don't think I can do it with one hand. Anyway, there's kind of like a gel cushion and you just wear them around the house. I wear them with or without slippers and it just makes your feet nice and soft and kind of um, allows that lotion to just absorb into that. I've got this little adapter thing for my phone and um, anything else that I need to plug in that way that doesn't have one of these adapters. I have got uh, makeup wipes for my face because um, I don't know that I'm going to be wanting to get up and, and do that right away, but I do want my face washed. I am actually going to pull a few of these out and put them in a little baggie um, and then put them in my toiletry bag. That way I can have these at the hospital um, because I... I'm not gonna be able to get up and like wash my face in the sink and that kind of thing because I don't think I'm gonna be able to move my arms all that much right out of surgery. Um, and since I'm staying the night, I still want a clean face. So I'm gonna take a couple of those out, put them in a bag, stick them in there. And then these right here are my ready flush that you guys saw. I'll go ahead and open these so that they're ready. But these are for um, bathing because I don't think that I can shower for a couple of days after surgery. So this is just going to be um, the way that I'm going to have to be cleaning myself for the next couple days uh, post-op. So we've got those in here ready to go. I've got... Um, these readers here, but these are not the ones from the actual ophthalmologist. Those are my favorite. I want to order another pair from Zumi. No, it's not Zumi. Uh, Zenny, Z-E-N-N-I, I think it is. Like the ones that I have because they're progressive, but um, I just haven't done it yet. So I've got those in there, but I'll bring the prescription ones um, back in here. I'm just going to have them in my carry-on or my hospital bag, I guess. Uh, that way I have those there. And then here by the bed, I've got this ready to go so that when we come home, Sam can put all of this stuff together because I don't, I'm not going to be able to like press down on it from what I've been told. That's going to be too much pressure. I won't be able to probably open up the pill um, containers because again that's too much pressure to like push and turn so he'll have to do that for me I think I've got my water bottle here ready to go and be loaded uh, like I said we have a sleep number bed so I've got my um, 
remote here ready to go because I have to be at a 35 degree angle all of the time. And let's see, here's my notepad that I always have. I need to stick a pin with that because I grabbed that the other day and forgot to put it back. So I think really these things I'm not going to need. These are my makeup. Oh, wait, what is this? That feels very hard. What is in here? Oh, that's my um, computer charger. So we'll stick that in here. And then I really don't think that I'm going to need all of these bags that I normally take in my carry-on. But I think what I will do is put like my drain bags in there. And then uh, these are for my headphones. This is the seatbelt cover that I will put in the car the night before. And what else? Oh, I've got my slippers over here and socks. These I can, um, actually I can put these in my nightstand too. So these are the gifts that went along with the blanket from my friends. But these right here I can just set already. And they're great because I can just slip my feet in. I don't have to bend down and like put anything on or whatever. I can just get out of bed and be good to go. Here we've got the fuzzy socks. So those are ready to go. I wanna put those on. And I think we're making progress. Here's this lotion. I can put that in here. Just stick that right there. And that is that. Um, all right, I'm going to put all of the rest of this stuff in how I'm going to have it. And then I'll show you what it looks like after before I put it um, into the bag. And then we'll just put it in the bag together. And then we'll have this done. I think I've got it all taken care of here. So I just left pretty much everything in there. Um, that was there before, but I've got the face wipes to wash my face. I haven't figured out the makeup situation yet. Oh, there's my tweezers. These are from the Nashville trip, and they're my favorite ones ever, and I couldn't find them because they were wedged in here. But um, I might get like a pressed powder. Um, if I don't do that, then I'll just take the uh, finishing powder that I have here at the house and put it in here and then just stick the brush in my cosmetic thing. Um, who knows? I, I may not even be with it enough to even know the next day to put that on. Who, who knows? But at least we'd be prepared. I've got my electric uh, toothbrush and toothpaste because for one thing, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to like brush back and forth. I don't all of our toothbrushes are um, electric anyway, but like if they have one at the hospital that isn't electric, that might be less than comfortable. So I've got this here ready to go. And let's see, let's put that here. The things that I have over here, so I've got just some really cozy socks to come home with. Um, I went ahead and just pre-sprayed this with perfume. That way um, it's already good to go since I can't actually wear it, but I can have it on my um, clothes. I just can't have it on my skin. Uh, and then just stick the socks in there on the side. I put my drain bags in this plastic bag here. That way all of the, um, you know, like the, the lace part that goes over your shoulders and whatever doesn't get all tangled up and everything else. It's just a little bit more consolidated in there. And then I've got a hat here because you know what? God only knows what we're going to be looking like. So there's that. And then... Um, in this bag right here is where I'm going to put like a bunch of stuff that I could just keep on my side table and have easy access to. So I've got my prescription readers that 
um, I for sure want to have there. My headphones. And then um, I've got this phone charger here. And then I went ahead and grabbed um, my long charger because I don't know how far back the plug-in is gonna be from the bed. And I wanna make sure that I have a long enough cord that I can just lay the phone like right beside me on the bed. So I've got that and then that chapstick that I was talking about. I've got a charger that just pops into the bottom of my phone. You guys saw that on Chloe and my trip. And then um, this little stand right here is super handy, uh, especially if you're like sitting and um, for me, I'll be laying, but it just kind of pops like this. And then you can just set your phone on top of that. That way you're not having to hold it or look down or whatever. I have a taller one in my office, but I don't know that I will need that since I'll be laying down. So I've got that there. And then um, I've got my throat lozenges and my stool softeners. I'm sure they'll have some there at the hospital, but just in case, that is not something that I wanna get behind on, uh, literally. No pun intended. But um, that is a big thing with the amount of medicine that I'm going to be taking. So then I also have some gum and uh, sucky candy. It's mint. So, and then over here, let's go ahead and put this stuff in. I've got my um, computer case here that can just slide along the side. Obviously, I won't put my computer in it yet. Um, and then I'll just stick this alongside here. Maybe. What are we bumping into? Oh, there we go. Okay. We've got that there. And then the side table bag. We've got the compression bra. And then these two things right here, I'm just gonna have my crossbody. Uh, I obviously won't be able to wear at home, but it's small enough that I can just stick it um, like underneath my bag here. Um, and actually, that reminds me, this I'm gonna put under my bag because it has that zipper area right there. So I'll just set that under there. But I'm gonna have this because I need my wallet um, for my insurance card and my ID. I'll need sunglasses on the way home in the car so I can just have this um, in this bag um, on the way home. And then I've got this here so that I can just remember to put it in the car the night before. And then I've got my mastectomy pillow here ready to go. I'll put that in the car as well. And I think that's all for that. Um, I've got my outfit that I'm going to wear to the hospital, so I'll just have that here. That way, that is all ready to go, and then I'm just going to wear um, my Crocs there. That way, they're easy enough to slip on and off, and I think that that is it. Once that other compression bra comes in, I will go ahead and just set that in here. But for now, that um, that's what we've got ready to go. I think that's great. Over here, I need to put this stuff back. So those are my face wipes. And then again, with the stool softeners because, no, thank you. Um, put these here. And then we've got some gummy laxatives. Ah, just want to find a place. Okay, there we go. And my pen. All right, so I think that this whole situation um, is done. I've got everything ready to go. And obviously, uh, I've got a little bit of time that if something comes up, I can obviously 
add to um, the bag. 